Welcome back, brothers, to the Black Man Can Men's Channel, the place where masculinity is affirmed and supported, where we as men come to deal with the challenges of modern day society and with women, and most of all, a place where we strive to become the best version of ourselves. Brothers, I want to thank y'all, man. We've been getting a lot of traction the last few weeks, and I appreciate you. Continue to like, share, support, comment, and give topics of interest to me. Also, ladies, this is a men's channel. You are always, always, always welcome here. But understand, I'm not going to go back and forth with you on disagreements. It's okay. All right? That being said, we are going to jump in today's topic. Today's Fabulous Friday, and I want y'all brothers to feel good coming into the weekend, but I also want you to be aware. Today's topic is going to be based on signs that you may be suffering from Will Smith syndrome. The realization of emasculation, okay? So brothers, I wanna give you five reasons why you may be suffering from Will Smith syndrome and also five more ways for you to recover from it if this applies to you. The first one is going to be, you are in agreement with what she says at all times. Brothers, what happens is in many situations, certain women believe they have the right to have it their way all the time. And what happens is these beta males and simps come and uh, support any and everything they say. And what happens is they feel championed by the woman, but they're not going to get anything in return. OK, so we as men need to stop rationalizing bad behavior by sisters or by other men. And we have to stand on our two uh, feet and say, look, this ain't going this ain't going to fly. So the first one I would give to y'all is that. Secondly, you have been mentally physically and or emotionally abused by your woman, okay? Or emasculated as a man. Some examples of this are she publicly embarrasses you. She cheats on you. She calls you everything but a child of God. She denies you sex. Brother, that is a sign that you have been emasculated and you may be suffering from Will Smith syndrome. Number three, fear of conflict. What happens with men is over time, you start to become scared to even bring truth to power. You say to yourself, you know what? I don't even want to get in an argument. You know what? I don't want to hear her mouth. Yo, I don't want to go back and forth. And you hold your tongue. This is very dangerous, okay? Because what happens is either A, you become a shell of who you are, or B, you end up snapping, just like he did on the Oscars, okay? Another sign you may be suffering from, Will Smith syndrome. Number four. She respects society more than she respects you. A strong woman, or should I say any woman, is going to respect one or two things. Either she's going to respect a strong man or she's going to respect society. And when I say society, I'm talking about her mama, her peers, television, social media, mainframes. She's going to take that over you. So if you're not strong, if you're not in frame and she doesn't feel she can respect and, and, and let you lead, She's going to do these things to, to embarrass you, and she's going to go with what the crowd wants to go with. You want to avoid this kind of woman. If you are falling into a situation where your woman is treating you worse and going by what society's norms are, then you may be suffering from Will Smith syndrome. You have surrendered to being treated like a peasant. Number five. You know what? As relationships go along, sometimes brothers get so used to being given less, they get beat down, they get totally dismantled, and what happens is they become weak. And the woman knows that, and she will treat you as such. And I tell your brothers all the time, a king's mindset, you do not accept disrespect. You do not accept being treated like trash. If you are a king, especially if you're paying the cost to be the boss, you should not be getting treated that kind of way. So number five is you surrender to being treated with disrespect. And that's probably one of the worst symptoms. OK, now we're going to talk about some ways to help you recover if you have someone who has suffered or is suffering with Will Smith syndrome. Now, five ways for you to start to recover. Number one, you have to leave her for your own sanity. I don't care how long you've been together. I don't care if you've been married for 20 years. I don't care how many kids you got. When a woman sees you in a negative light, you cannot reverse that, brother. When she feels no respect for you, you cannot reverse that, brother. It's just like being in a friend zone. 
A woman who only sees you as a friend will never see you as a romantic lover. And a woman who has no respect for you will never gain it back. So your best thing is to cut bait for your own sanity, okay? And you take those lessons with you so you can learn from them. Number two, take time to work on yourself. A lot of times when we go through breakups or we uh, you know, end things with a woman, we tend to jump back into something else. That's a no-no. OK, you need to work on your business, work on your job, work on your body, work on your mind. But the last thing you need to be doing after hopping out of a long term relationship is messing with another woman. Work on you first, brother, so you can bring the new improved 2.0 version of yourself back to the next relationship. And you're not made a fool of like you were in the previous one. Number three, remember who you were before the relationship. OK, brother, the reason I say that is because the man you were before you met that woman was the reason why she fell in love with you or she had the hots for you. And somewhere along the way, you lost that. This is why I tell brothers, man, you have to stay vigilant and always remember that women like excitement. Women like mystery. OK, and also, excuse me, women like to hear no sometimes. You can't be some do boy. Yes, man. And expect a woman to respect you long term. You have to stay in frame at all time. And if it's something that is outside of your boundaries, you need to check it. So that will be the third one. All right. Number four. Never alter your life and your situation to fit a woman into it. OK, if the woman is for you, she's going to make herself comfortably a part of your situation, not try to tell you to alter your life. This, this happens a lot with brothers where there's you have to compromise, you have to uh, get an ultimatum, etc. If that's the case, brother, then be gone. All right. You have to always be on your purpose. And a woman who is for you will support that purpose. OK, what happens a lot of the time is we drift off and we decide we want to be um, respected or loved by this woman more. And we go away from our principles. OK, when you do that, you lose and you lose respect from her along the way. So that's something I would tell you all first and foremost. Never alter yourself in your life to try to fit the woman into your situation. All right. And last but not least, number five, know your value. OK, brother, if you've worked hard, like I said, especially if you're paying the cost to be the boss, if you've worked hard, brother, you have to know your value. And if you don't, you will always will accept less. You'll accept less from women. You'll accept less from friends, work, relationships, business, everything. Always know your value. As I said, man, when you have a king's mindset, you know that you are supposed to live in abundance, not in lack. And anybody that makes you feel that way or treats you that way should not be in your circle. OK, so, brothers, I'm going to not do a recap today. I'm just giving it to you all raw to try to keep the video short and sweet. But these are the five symptoms of the Will Smith syndrome. And these are five ways to recover, brother, if you have been a victim of that. We all have as men at one point or another. I don't care if it was junior high, high school, college, even now. You can be so in love and so caught up that you lose yourself. And that's the last thing you want to do as a king. You have to be on your frame, on your purpose, and in the right mindset so you get the best of all things in life. All right? Brothers, I want y'all to be blessed. I want y'all to take these notes with you into your life. And I want you to spread the word. Like the channel. Share the channel on all platforms. Come to the YouTube because that's where I put everything first. And also, I'm on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And I'm trying to get something set up on TikTok. But brothers, be blessed. Have a great weekend. And remember, the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Until then, brothers, peace.